all set to record. So, we do Kalabati greeting to start. Making sure everything's on. You can come to a seat on your shins. If you want to sit on a block, that's always really comfortable for me. Um, any seat's a good seat. So, palms open to receive or close to ground down. And just so you know, Kalabati, breath of fire. The way it works, it's just an exhale, so like pushing breath out with the belly, and it looks like this. You can visually uh, see and feel your belly. It goes. <laughs> we'll do that for a round of 25 and 50. And to start, let's just take five normal inhales and exhalations. So inhale through your nose. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. So we'll inhale this round to prepare. Pull as much breath in as you can, filling up the belly. Call about to breath, go. Exhale. All the way up. So three more normal breaths and inhale to prepare, and then we'll do our set of 50. Inhale through the nose. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath. Deep inhale to prepare. Still keep pulling that breath in. Kalabati breath, go. Exhale. Normal breaths here. Maybe just close the eyes, set some intention for your practice. And then when you're ready, you're going to release any blocks you might have. Come on to all fours. And I like to paw the floor, so fanning the fingers out wide. Right to left, left to right. Maybe half circle side to side, or take any shape you want. Start to open the wrist. Also, cat and cow side movements or barrel rolls with the spine. You can turn your fingertips out right and left, back towards your knees. Trying to open up the spine and the wrist. Maybe any motions your body hasn't been able to do yet today. And definitely with the hands, try to spread the fingers as wide apart as possible to open the palms. And from here, we're going to curl our toes under and sit back on the heels. This can be really intense, so you can stay here. Walk the hands up, sit on the heels, hands behind the back, right thumb on top, draw the knuckles down to the floor, and just so you can see what's happening here, you gotta turn to face you, 
Bring your bind over to the right side and drop right to your right shoulder. Feel a nice stretch on the left side of the neck. And inhale through center. Remember, just try to stay as long as you can with the toes come under. It's really good for opening up the back line. Switch left thumb on top, interlace, draw down, and then bring the bind over to the left hip. Left ear, left shoulder. This is always one of my favorite stretches. And then staying on the heels, release the hands, interlace, chest, right by the heart, or right in front of the heart. Inhale here, lift. Find the energy in that space. Exhale, push round through the back like you wouldn't cat. Inhale, bring the arms up and behind the ears, start to arch the belly forward like you cow. Exhale, round like you cat. Inhale, arch back. Exhale, round forward. One more round. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. And then we're going to come forward, release the toes, and tap them out like you're drumming the floor. And then turn your fingertips back towards the knee. So the pinky finger should be in towards the midline. And you're going to push down through the heels of the hands and lift between the shoulders. From here, drop the tailbone for the floor. This is naturally going to activate the abs. You can stay here if this is a lot for you, or push through the tops of the feet and bring your knees a couple inches off the mat. Hold here for five, four, three, two, and one. Slow lower the knees. To add on, we're gonna stay here, maybe give a little paw action, keeping the fingertips back, pointing towards the knees, and then ground down. Push through the heels of the hands, lift between the shoulders, drop the tailbone, stay here, or step back into plank. Push through the heels, lift between the shoulders, stay for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, on one, lower the knees and drop the hips back to the heels. Shake the hands out above the head. Release anything going on with those wrists. We're gonna come into low asana. So hands aligned by the sides of the knee. You're gonna round the back like cat spine. From here, just a quick demo. You're gonna push through the heels of the hands. Try to bring the knees up off the mat. So keep the rounded back. And you're trying to bring them up to the collarbone so that if you only come an inch off the mat, that's also okay. Short set to start, and then we'll do a longer side. So set the hands, take a deep inhale. Exhale, push the floor around to the back. Pull the knees up to the chest and stay for 15, 14. Squeeze the knees together, lean forward, 12. Maybe drop the hips a little, 10, 9. Keep pushing through the thumbs. Six, seven, five, four, three, two, and all the way down. So, second round, um, I want you to come to that same position. We're going to hold for 10 seconds, and then I'm going to give you the option to lift one foot, lower, lift the second foot, lower. Hold 10 more seconds. Oh, look who decided to join me. He must have heard me start teaching. Ready, set the hands up by the knees, round the back. I feel you, yes. Take a nice deep inhale. Exhale, push through the floor, pull the knees up to the chest, lean forward, hold here for just 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, Three, two, and one. Pick up the right foot for five, four, three, two, and one. Lower. Pick up the left foot. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold for just ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Try to lift the hips. On one. Maybe roll over the toes, come into a forward fold. I know that was fun. <laughs> Walk the feet out. 
Go back with your distance, grab opposite elbows, soften the back of the knees. Let yourself hang forward, hollow out through the belly. Feel your sits bones or your glutes pull up to the sky. You can keep that bend with the knees even if your glutes or other muscles are working to pull you in the opposite direction. And then let's walk our hands forward, down dog. Stand the fingers out, walk it out through the feet. Maybe drop the hips side to side. Make any adjustments through the shoulders. Maybe shake up the head. And then inhale up through the right toes. This is a real short set. Exhale, pull the knee to the nose. So tiger curl, push the floor, lift between the shoulders. You can stay here for five, four, three, two. Come on, shoot back, squeeze and low. Try to hold your low here for five, four, three, two. I want to push to the tiger curl. I want to inhale up, exhale lower. Left side, inhale left. Exhale, pull knee to nose. Push to the floor, hold, lift between the shoulders for five, four, three, two. I want to shoot the foot back, squeeze and low. Hold five, four, three, two. I want to exhale, push, pull to the tight curl. I mean, you can always stay here if you don't want to go for Chaturanga. Five, four, three, two. Um, one, inhale, up and back. Exhale, lower. <sighs> now my cat's being super ornery and eating leaves. <laughs> inhale, right to the bottom. Exhale, pull knee to nose. Ready, send the foot back, squeeze and low. We're not going to be here long. Exhale, push to the floor, knee to nose, tighten your curl. Inhale, up to the sky. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, left. Exhale, pull knee to nose. Ready, squeeze, <laughs> shoot the foot back, squeeze and low. Exhale, pull knee to nose, tighten your curl. Inhale, up. Exhale, lower. Let's go for two more rounds of that. Inhale, right. Exhale, tighten your curl. Ready, push, right foot back, squeeze into that low three-legged chaturanga. Exhale, pull, tighten your curl. Inhale, toes up. Exhale, lift. Left side. Exhale, pull, knee to nose, lift between the shoulders. Ready, shoot the foot back, three-legged chaturanga. Exhale, push to the tiger curl. Inhale, up. Exhale, lower. Last round. Inhale, right. Exhale, pull, knee to nose. Shoot the foot back, squeeze and low. Exhale, push to the floor, knee to nose. Inhale, toes up. Exhale, land. Inhale, left. Exhale, pull, knee to nose. Ready, shoot back, squeeze and low. Exhale, pull, knee to nose. Inhale, up. Exhale, land. Good. Now we can inhale, gaze forward. I want you to walk, hop, but visually just See your feet landing between the palms. You can take a nice deep bend through the knees. Give yourself a little spring action. Walk up. Float your way to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, skin the fingertips down. And bring yourself up. Chair pose. Inward spiral, pinky fingers in. And then exhale, we're gonna slow. Bring the hips down to the heels and float the hips on down, boat pose. So I always go through one round like this. So high to low boat for 15 or as many as you can in good form. And just so we're all aware, low boat could be here or it can just bring you low back flat to the earth. Come up. So high to low for 15. So one. 
to float the foot or land. Take the chaturanga push. Knees and forearms land. Inhale, fold the way through. Exhale, roll the way back. Down dog. Same thing on the left. Inhale, left toes lift. Push down through the right heel. Exhale, pull. Knee into chest. Notice how the right heel can move to give you a little extra space. Set the foot to the top of the mat. Double that leg lunge. Bend the right knee. Grab the block if you like. Sink the hips low. Try to stay here as you push back through the right heel. Lengthen it out. Squeeze into that right glute. Pull back through the left hip. And then bring your fingertips in front of the shoulders in line with the back right heel. Float into the warrior three as you push up with the foot. And then keeping the bend in the left, you can close away from the earth. Bend, slow, flow back. Lock behind the head. Reach for the back wall and then gaze up to the sky. And then exhale. Slow, lower down. Hands to the earth. Step back. High. You can take the chatter and the push. And then knees and forearms land. Inhale, pull cobra or up dog. Exhale. Roll back. Down dog. From here, inhale, gaze forward. Visualize where you're going to land. Walk, hop. Float your way to the top. Inhale, half way lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, up for chair. Exhale, let's float on back. Boat pose. Grab the back of the thigh, round to the back, and come all the way down. This time, I want you to send the left leg out long so it's parallel with the floor. Arms are down by the side, right toes up. So engage the legs. It's like the muscles are squeezing to the bones. And then you're just going to lift up through the hips. So for 20, 19, 18, 17. This might not be very much or go very far. 15, 14, 13. Keep going. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, on one. Hold the lift for five. Try to keep the hips off the floor. Four, three, two, and one. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, I want you to reach them over to the outside of the right leg. Bring the hands to prayer, maybe interlace, like Charlie's Angels Mudra. And then from here, hold. Keeping the head and shoulders off the floor, abs engaged. You're gonna bring your left foot up to tap the right, and lower, lift, and lower, lift, and lower, lift, and lower, lift, and lower. Lift and lower. Keep going, just eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. On one, hold. So both legs together. Bring the shoulders back, head down. Take a nice deep inhale here. Exhale, let's pulse up towards the toes for 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. I want to hold up, pull towards the toes. Exhale, lower back down. Good. Keeping the left leg up this time, drop the right leg long. So it's hovering off the floor. Engage the legs, arms down by the sides, lift through the hips again. I never know which button I hit sometimes. My little mic thing. <laughs> Keep going. 15. Okay, we started with 15. So somewhere along like six, five, four, three, two, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and hold lift. And keep lifting those hips for five, four, three, two, on one. Lower the hips down, keep the right leg lifted or hovered. Arms come up and reach over to the left side this time. Hands to prayer, interlace to every leg. Keep the shoulders and the head off the floor. Tap the right to the left, lower, tap, lower, tap, lower, tap, lower, tap, lower. Eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, on one, pull up. Come to center, let the head and the shoulders fall back here, and then let's pulse up. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, on one, hold and lift, reach towards the toes. Good. Slow. Drop the head and the shoulders back, heels to the glutes, sway side to side. And rock and roll up. Round through the back and roll up. Remember, we're going to stand through the feet and then sweep the arms up chair. Good. From here, exhale slow, come forward. Find the hands to the earth, knees into the armpits. Maybe one foot or two lifts. Crow pose. Take a modified low asana. Stay here for five, four, three, two, on one, walk, hop, step the feet back, high, take a shot around the push, knees and forearms land, inhale, pull the way through, over or up dog, exhale, roll the way back, down dog, inhale, right toes up, Exhale, pull the knee into the nose. Set the foot to the top of the mat. Remember, the block is optional. Take the double bend leg lunge with or without the block. Ready, push back through the left heel. Reach forward through the fingertips. Exhale, float into the warrior three. Push away from the earth. Bend, flow, float back. Good. From here, Hands could drop in prayer or with the block behind the head. Find the lift of the front body and then reach through the fingertips or the block back. Exhale, lower. Float or slide, right foot back. Chaturanga, push. Knees and forearms land. Inhale, pull the way through. Exhale, roll the way back. Inhale, left. Exhale, pull the knee into the nose round. Set the foot to the top of the mat. Double bent leg lunge. Come here first. Exhale, push back through the heel. Lean forward. Float into the bend. Push away from the earth. Bend. Slow, flow back. Hands behind the head in prayer. Reach the back of the room. Exhale, slow. Plank the foot down. Step back. Chaturanga, push. This time I want you to stay in high. You may come down to the knees. I want you to find a block on high underneath the left palm. You can use some books or other sturdy inanimate objects that you have at home. And from high, we're going to take one, try to run the push. Flip to a medium setting. Chaturanga, push. Flip to your low setting. Chaturanga, push. From here, drop the heels over to the right and open into Vasti Stasana. Now you can come down for the modified here. Just keep the hips stacked. You can stagger or stack, maybe even take a little bit of a lift in. Again, hips just stay one on top of the other. Exhale, wrap, left arm under. Like 
you're trying to give the tricep to touch the bicep on the right. Push away from the floor on the right. Hold for five, four, three, two, on one, inhale up, exhale, roll to center. From here, slide the block over to the right side. And on high, start here. Take the chaturanga, push. Medium, chaturanga, push. Low, chaturanga, push. Good. Drop the heels over to the left this time. Stagger, stack. Option to take a modified here. Hold, strong. Push through the heels, squeeze the glutes. Keep the hips pushing forward. And exhale, wrap the right arm under, just like we did with the left side. Hold here for five, four, three, two, Inhale up, exhale, roll to center. Good. From here, take one more shot on the push. Knees and forearms land. Inhale, hold the way through. Exhale, roll the way back. Good. And from here, we can walk the hands back. Come into your little yogi squat. So we're only gonna do three rounds of these. Really simple. They're, well, if you do Surya A with me on my new classes, they're kind of like that with a little more hops involved. So just so you know, you're gonna come to a yogi squat and four to five hops to the top. We meet back in the yogi squat. And how the hops work is you're gonna bring your arms down, maybe a little bend in the elbows, but then push arms to straight to try to bring the feet off the floor. And you're trying to work that negative space. So as the feet lift, you're trying to slow them down as they come back down to the earth. So when we move, it'll be a lift, feet come forward. A lift, feet come forward. So let's start at the back of the mat. Four to five hops to the top as best you can. Ready? Go. And then find your little yogi squat. We're going to come up for active squat. Balance for five. Two, on one, exhale, Sama Sutta Chi. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, bounce. Five, four, three, two, on one. Find the hands to the floor. Maybe a little bend. Push, lengthen, walk, hop. Float the way back. High. Chaturanga push. Knees and forearms land. Inhale, pull. Exhale, roll back. Down dog, and then just walk the hands back. Turn the toes out. If these feet come off the mat, it's all good. Remember, this is a guideline, not the rule. So if your yogi squat is wider than the mat, it's all good. Four to five hops to the top. Go. Coming back to that yogi squat at the top. Ready, active squat for three, two, one. Exhale, inhale, hands up to the sky. Exhale, active squat for three, two, one. Hands lay to the floor, push through the earth, walk, up, roll the way back. High plank, chaturanga, push. Knees and forearms land. Inhale. Pull the way 
way through. Exhale, roll the way back. Walk the hands back. Turn the toes up, let the hips sink. Yogi squats, the last round. Very excited, right? Then we'll move on to some fighter salutations. So push the hands to the floor, lift, low down. Hop, low down. Meeting back at the top in the yogi squat. Up for active squat. Five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, samasthiti. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, active squat. Five, four, three, two, and one. Hands to the floor. Maybe a little bend. Push. You can step, walk, hop. Little bit way back. High plank, Chaturanga push, knees and forearms land, inhale, pull, exhale, roll back, inhale, visualize your feet landing between the palms, so give a little spring if you need, walk, hop, float the way to the top, land feet between the palms, inhale, hop, Exhale, hold. Inhale, up to chair. So from here, we're going to take right knee in front of hip, Mr. Miyagi. You guys all remember the karate kid. Ready right from here, we're going to step back through the right, drop the knee, inhale up, Anjane Asana. Or the option here would be to land the top of the foot flat. Push Chandrasana lunge. Exhale, the foot, curl the toes, shift up through the left. So you're in, down dog, three legged. Maybe open that hip, dropping the left toes over to the right side. Then inhale, reach the left toes. Exhale, step to the center of the mat. We're going to come up, float into the warrior tree. Inhale. Right knee in front of hip, Mr. Miyagi. Exhale, squeeze, feel the glute. We're going to lean forward. So you're counterbalancing here. So you can try to tap the knee to the earth and then come all the way back up. All right, that's a lot. Just try to tap. The knee to the inside of the foot and come all the way back up. Knee in front of hip, land. So, stepping to the top of the mat, inhale up through the chair. Exhale, left knee in front of hip, Mr. Miyagi. Ready? Lean forward, step back. Drop the left knee, Anjane Asana, or push into the top of the left foot. Chindrasana lunge. Exhale. Slow plank the foot. Curl left toes under. Sweep right toes up. Three legged dog or Scorpio dog. Dropping the toes to the opposite shoulder. Push away from the earth. Lift up through the right knee. And set. Right foot to the center of the mat as you float forward. Warrior three. Inhale up, Mr. Miyagi, left knee in front of hip. You're going to squeeze the left heel into the glute. Lean forward through the chest. I like to bring the hands in prayer. Then we're going to just try to tap the knee to the floor without touching the top of the foot. Come all the way back up. Try that one more time. See? And then come all the way back. What I love about these is there's no chaturanga. Inhale up, chair. Exhale, Mr. Miyagi, right. Ready, sweep the foot back, step. Drop the right knee, Anjane Asana. Maybe Chindrasana lunge. 
Exhale. Low plank the foot. Curl the toes. Pull back. Sweep into the three-legged dog or Scorpio dog. Ready, step. Left foot to center. Float into the warrior three. Pull. Right knee in front of hip. Ready, squeeze the heel to the glute. I'm gonna give you an add-on here. So, option just to tap and lift. Tap and lift. You can come to tap the knee. Curl the right toes under, sit back on the heel. So, as you sit back on the heel, the right knee's gonna lift. And you might try to hover left foot up. Step, left foot down, drop right knee nice and easy. Pull right heel to glute. Come all the way up and set the foot down. Inhale up, sink back to your chair, and then exhale. It's Jumiyagi on the left. Step back, Anjaneyasana, or Chindrasana lunge. Exhale, slow plank. Push to the floor, weave the right toes up, stack the hip and open. Inhale, reach the toes up and back. Exhale, pull the foot to the center. Float into the warrior three. And then pull, left knee in front of hip, Mr. Miyagi. Feel the glute squeeze. Ready, we're gonna bring it down for those little taps. And lift, tap, and lift. So to add on here, bring the knee down, go left toes under, sit back on the heel. Left knee is gonna lift, keeping the shoulders above the hips. Maybe float, right foot. Land the right foot, drop the left knee, pull left heel into glute. You gotta lean forward a little bit, help counterbalance your weight. Just step. Good. Inhale up to chair. Exhale. Fold. Step back, right. So nice and easy since we're getting a little harder with each round. Check your time. Inhale up. Exhale, push to the top of the foot. Chandrasana lunge. Slow, lower. Land, palm to the floor. Sweep up through the left. Cobra. And then inhale, reach for the toes. Exhale, step. Left foot forward. Coming up. So here in your warrior three, pull right knee in front of hip. Mr. Miyagi, I always like the hands at the shoulders. It's kind of like that brace position. And then hands to prayer. Right heel to glute. Knee and core. Take the little shrimp squats. And if you can, you can keep going with those shrimp squats if that's what you prefer. Play the knee as an option, curl the toes under, float left foot. This is where it gets even more fun. You're gonna drop the right foot down, grip to the toes, come all the way up, pistol squat if you want, and all the way down. Now from here, land the foot, drop the right knee, come up. Two options. So, demo real quick first. Shoulders above the hips, above the back knee. You're gonna roll forward into either standing splits, or this is your option for a little handstand. You can push through the floor. Option to roll back. So again, if you come forward for the handstand, push through the floor, roll back. And my balance is really off. So wherever you 
are. Exhale, let's go for three reps. So roll forward, standing split, or handstand. Two more reps. And then step both feet together. Deep forward bolt. So I want you to wiggle your feet out. Give yourself a little space. Keep fingers around the big toes. Pagam Mustasana. So the hips pull up to the sky, let the head pull down, the elbows go up. Giving yourself a little time to breathe here. Exhale all the air out of the belly. Use your belly to pull in forward and your glutes to pull back the legs up. Push through the big toe, down into the earth. The feel as that lengthens up through the front of your shins. Feel the energy pulling forward down the crowd. And inhale, opposite. Wiggle the feet back together. Inhale, sweep to chair. Exhale, last side. So left knee in front of hip. And we're going to step back, land the knee, Anjane Asanu, or Chandrasana Lunge. Exhale, plank the foot, curl, left toes under, right toes sweep up, step the hip and open, three-legged dog. And then reach the toes. Sit the right foot to the center of the mat. Warrior three. Inhale, left knee in front of hip. Exhale, heel to glute, lean forward. Lift, tap, and lift. Taking a little shrimp squat, tap, maybe lean the chest forward, counterbalance the weight. This time if you want, otherwise just continue with the shrimp squats. And the knee, curl the left foot under, and then float the right leg. Option to land, left foot, grip to the toes, or no grip. Come all the way up, just the squat, exhale. Lower down, roll forward, one step at a time. So again, three breaths, standing split or handstand, wherever you'd like to go. Roll forward and lift, hold here. And then land the feet. So parallel with the hips. Soften to the back knee, deep forward fold. Slide the hands underneath, soles of the feet. The toes come up to the wrist crease. Pada Hastasana. Exhale as the elbows go out and the head drop. Let yourself just hang or as you press to those big toes, anchor you down. Feel the energy pull up the back of the legs. And then when you're ready, you can slow release. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, find hands to the floor. Maybe step, hop, float your way back. Roll to high, however you'd like to get there. Take one, chaturanga push. Drop the knees and the forearms. Inhale, pull the way through, up dog. Exhale, roll all the way back, down dog. Good. Inhale, gaze forward. Walk up. Float the feet between the hands. Elevate the heels. And then drop the hips down to the heels. Let the knees point forward. So you're gonna bring your chest up. This feels a little awkward at first, but 
You can have the hands on the knees. So this is just checking your space. Keep yourself lifted. You can even try to hover the hips off the heels, get into that mula bandha pelvic floor lift. And we're gonna lean back, counterbalance the weight again, and softly land the knees forward. From here, something you're probably gonna all like. You can move the feet about hip distance. I like to keep the toes curled under, it'll feel a little easier here in a second. We're gonna take a circle camel. So reach back to the right hand, left arm overhead. Inhale through center, hands to prayer. Exhale, left side. Inhale to center. Exhale, right. Inhale to center. Exhale, left. One more circle camel. Each side. And then if you'd like to come up, you can land the tops of the feet flat or keep the toes curled under, whatever feels better. Push the hips forward. Maybe hands just the low back. Send the hips forward, lift up through the front body. You can drop the hands back to the heels. Find some space in the camel. Stay for three breaths. Exhale, slow, come up to center, sit back. Hands by the top face. Give yourself a little space there. So instead of just like folding forward, stay upright with the shoulders. So it's a lot of energy coming out through your heart, your chest, to open it up, especially when we spend a lot of our time in the opposite direction bones with our computers, eating. And before we drop down completely, you can wiggle the feet out in front of you, however you'd like to do that. It doesn't have to be super smooth or anything. I want us to come into a yin bodhapanasana stretch. So Baddha is normally where your feet are really close to your hips. But in yin stretch, they're a little bit, they've got about a foot or two of space. You can have the hands on top of the feet. You can scoop from underneath. Exhale, fold. If you're feeling really flexy, you can drop a block and place the feet on top and just fold in. And then inhale slow up. You can land the feet with flat. Inhale, lift up through the chest, pull, roll the shoulders back, and then reach through the fingertips, slow roll back. Hands by the sides, maybe the feet drift out or to the edges of the mat. If you need a little twist here, right the end, pull to the left. Gentle through your shavasana. Now is a great time. And you can switch sides whenever you need. Stay as long as you like. If 
you want to close off class with me, you can. If you feel like staying in Shavasana, that's also an option right now, too. You can roll to one side, giving yourself a little fetal position. And then push yourself up to a gentle seated position. And I'd like to close class with just one ohm and three shanti shantis. So hands to prayer, heart center. Take a deep inhale. Big exhale. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Thank you all for taking the strong practice with me. It's such an honor and a blessing. Peace, peace, peace. Namaste.